So Jason, you've been banging on this piece of metal all afternoon. It's been all afternoon? Pretty I much. I haven't uh, noticed, I've just been having You've fun. been having fun, yeah. Okay, so Ooh, yeah. you're ready to quench this bad boy, huh? Yeah. One, one more time on the anvil. One more time on the anvil. Got this bright orange, look at that. I got really bad technique. Yeah, well, there's only one cure for that. Practice, 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 practice. practice, practice. Improve that technique. Oh, it's a beauty, eh? <laughs> eh? 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 It's a beauty, eh? Wow, nice. Great. You're gonna heat it back up, yep. then quench it. So we've got this eight inch rocket heater core that we built and we edited it a little bit to make it wider inside so that we could have a platform to lay the steel on. The platform is just a piece of brick filled with drilled full holes, fire brick filled drilled full holes. But that gives us a place to lay out the metal inside and get it all hot. These are insulated fire bricks surrounding the bottom of this riser. The riser is made out of ceramic wool. And then down here, these insulated fire bricks have given us a place to stick our metal. We've got these openings on both sides so that if you wanted to stick something longer through there, you could. Right now, Jason's firing it up with these little slivers of pine. Pine is not a particularly hot burning wood, but if you cut it small enough, split it fine enough, you can get it up to the uh, 1900 degrees or whatever that we need in order to be able to pound on the metal and have it bend in a useful manner. So it takes about two minutes to get it all cherry red. Three minutes. Three minutes. How, how you manage your fire. Uh, I've, been, I've been banging on it for a while, but uh, not quite enough heat. So it doesn't do as well if you don't have enough heat, does it? So if you've got it hot enough, um, about three minutes then. You can get it to uh, you can get it to where you can bang on it and make some progress. Get a bright orange there. Got a little bit of fire coming out the top. That seems to be where it needs to be to get it glowy. Oop! We've fallen off the back here again. No, well this is the clean out down below because if you're firing hot like this, the ashes, oh well, not even the ashes, the coals will build up to where they'll choke the throat down inside so you can't get the fire to go through. So we made these little clean outs on both sides so we can shove the coals out. You can see the remnant of them over here from our big kiln. But basically, we're just trying to get this hot enough to make our steel glowy and malleable. 
How's it coming? Almost ready? Yeah, just about. Another minute or two. Up behind the um the price house, like just on the hill behind. So about how much firewood do you think you've stuck into this over the time? I'd like say from those chunks there, probably getting about uh, close to 10 to 12. So no coal, no charcoal. About 12 of these chunks here. And these chunks are, mm, you know, four to six inches. Here we go, getting it hot for one last time to quench it. Oh yeah. I think that might be her. Yeah. I think that might be quenching temperature. I think I'm gonna get out of your way. No. But who knows, because this is my first time working with steel. Well, it looks like the temperature at which this will be quenched. Okay. There goes nothing. Boil, 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 and shovel. Bubble, bubble, shovel. No pinky down. Mm, that's good. Oh, beauty, eh? Relatively straight. I mean, I didn't have it straight on the anvil, so I don't think it warped none. Nice. All right. It's pretty solid right there. Was that a water tire? It's like a like showing your new fit, your fish. Yeah. That was um, this stuff right here. The rebar. No, it's a bit thicker than rebar. Oh, uh, they were using it. I guess it got put away. Not this angle? It's not angle iron, is it? No, no, it was, uh, it was one of those uh, railroad hold, t hold down springs, you know? Like it had like uh, a curvature and it kind of... I'll show you the inside of this now that it's left open. We got this. We got holes drilled in a piece of fire brick to let the fire through. And that piece of fire brick is glowing nice hot. Ugh, I can't even have my hand that close with that open like that. Well, thanks for joining me. Next up, we'll talk about that bad boy.